in this video, I'm going to be showing you all the things that you can do with your one inch straightening iron. I'm going to show you how to straighten your hair, curl it, how to add volume, and how to flip under the ends if you like that kind of a look. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the traditional straightening. This is exactly how I do it. So you want to make sure that your straightening iron is at a good heat setting for your hair. Um, Try to find a straightening iron with an adjustable heat setting because you'll be able to get the perfect finish for your hair type. Now, if you have finer hair, you're going to want a lower heat setting. If your hair is thicker, you're going to need to ramp it up to a higher heat setting to get a style that really lasts. Even if you're just straightening your hair, it's better to have it a little bit hotter and only have to go over it once than to keep having to go over the same strand over and over again because it's going to cause more damage to your hair. So when you're straightening your hair, you really want to start, start from the bottom layer, but I'm just going to show you a strand on the top. I always use a heat protectant when I'm styling my hair with heat. I love S Factor by TG, Flat Iron Shine Spray Heat Defender. It's got a nice kind of oily sheen to it, but it's not too thick. So I just kind of lightly like to mist that over my hair and then use my fingers to rub it in. And I usually use about two on the top and then maybe, you know, one or two on a bottom layer of my hair and then just roll it through with my fingers. You can also brush it through if you'd like. Then for straightening, if I want my hair to be pinned straight down, I'm just going to take a small section at a time. I'm going to grab one back here to show you. No more than an inch by an inch by an inch on each side of it. And this might even be a little too big. I'm do about this size. And the best thing to do is to take a comb or a brush and set your hair in that. You then want to pick up your straightening iron, put it right on your roots, and picking it up, follow it along that comb. That way you're going to get a really, really straight piece that's separated and you're not going to get any sort of smushing of your hair when it's not actually straight. At this point my hair is really straight. I want to keep the ends from flipping out so much. So I'm really going to ramp up the heat to the highest setting, 400 degrees. I'm going to take this section and pulling it away from the way that, from the direction they're flipping in. You can see how it sits way more straight. And even there again, it's going to be a little more straight. It can be really hard with certain types of hair to get it 100% straight, but if you keep working on it, you definitely can. You just want to make sure that you have a heat protectant on your hair when you do this. And that way your hair is going to be perfectly straight. Now next, I'm going to show you how to curl your hair with a straightening iron. And this is a little bit trickier for people. And no matter how many times you hear it explained, you really have to just try it for yourself because it can be a little confusing and a little intimidating the first time you do it. Now, I'm just going to take a section of my hair over here to show you how I do it. I'm going to pull the rest of my hair. Basically, I want to start at the root. Pull it around like that, grab the outsides, and flip it forward in the direction that you pulled the hair around. And keep kind of gently twisting it. You never want to let it stay in the same place, like that. And you can pull it up, and you'll see you get a perfect ringlet. I've never had ringlets stay as well as they do as when I use a straightening iron. This literally will stay like this all day, overnight. You can sleep on this and it won't come out. And my hair doesn't hold a curl that well, but when you use a straightening iron, it works so, so well. And if you want to get a softer look to it, you can kind of pull it down with your fingers. And um, I would definitely recommend doing that while it's still a little bit hot, but it'll still, like you can see, it'll still give you a really curly look. And it's super fast compared, I think it's a lot faster once you get used to this motion. Now I'm going to show you another way of curling it that, um, it's really similar, but instead of continuing to curl, you just do one flick of the wrist. So you start here, you wrap this around, and you roll this 180 degrees, like that. And then you just pull it down. And again, you're going to get a ringlet. So like that. Now, I tend to think the ringlets are tighter when you do it my, my method. Um, just because you're constantly spinning it. So I'm going to show you how to kind of flip under sections of your hair. And I'm just going to section up this top part that I put all these crazy curls in. I'm going to take a section out here. 
and you want to use the brush just the same as when you're straightening your hair. The technique in this is really just about taking a slightly larger section, so it's about this wide, and constantly twisting your wrist, but very slowly in a big arc arcing motion. So I'm going to pull it down and pull it out and around. So this way you're going to get straight hair, but at the bottom, you will see that it's going to kind of curl in. Not too much, but if you do this all over your hair, you're going to get a nice curl in. So as long as you kind of angle this and bend it in, twist it just at the bottom, you're going to get straight, volumized hair that's going to just tuck right in at the end. And I told you also I would show you how to get volume into your hair. This method is really, really easy. So basically, this is where I normally part my hair, somewhere over here. So where I want to create volume is underneath here and underneath over here. I'll start on this side, and you want to flip over your hair, take a section, and just pull it straight across like that. Take another section, pull it straight across. Pull it straight across with your straightening iron perpendicular to your hair, so you're pulling it down like that. You just kind of want to keep doing that. So when I flip my hair up, you'll see this side where I did that is going to have a lot more volume right there than this side has. So I'm going to do it on the other side as well. So I'm going to flip my hair over like that. Just pull down these sections. If you want the volume to last even longer, you just let your hair cool down while it's still facing that direction. So that'll be, you know, maybe a minute or two. But basically, just to show you the kind of volume it'll give you, when I pop my hair back up, you'll see there's a lot more volume. And you can even kind of comb it down a little bit, but this just kind of helps pick up your hair. If it's like the second day and you've slept on your hair, it'll help give it a little bit more volume through your roots in there because the hair is tricked into laying the opposite way, if that makes sense. So hopefully this help, this video was helpful and not too all over the place. And thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.